this. I'm done already. F you. Because I'm your elder. You respect what I said. We're done. Welcome back. Angela Deem, a prominent figure from 90 Day Fiancé, has long been known for her tumultuous and volatile relationship with her now ex-husband, Michael Ilisami. While their roller coaster romance captured the attention of millions of viewers worldwide, what was once seen as dramatic entertainment has now been exposed as something far darker. Behind the scenes, Angela has reportedly engaged in a long-term campaign of manipulation and blackmail against Michael, coercing him to stay in the toxic relationship under threats that could destroy his life and reputation. Recent revelations have brought to light Angela's disturbing behavior, including blackmailing Michael with threats to revoke her signature from his immigration documents, effectively jeopardizing his visa status in the U.S. In addition to leveraging her power over his legal standing, Angela reportedly used Michael's private text messages and confidential conversations as weapons, threatening to expose him if he ever attempted to leave her. With access to Michael's phone, Angela's coercive tactics went even deeper than anyone could have imagined. Sources close to the couple say that the public only knows a fraction of what truly happened, and there are far more disturbing details that have yet to emerge. At the heart of Angela's manipulation was her control over Michael's immigration process. As viewers of 90 Day Fiancé know, Angela filed for a spousal visa, also known as a K-1 visa, to bring Michael from Nigeria to the United States. This process requires the American spouse, in this case, Angela, to act as the petitioner and provide financial support. The American spouse is responsible for signing an affidavit of support, which is a legally binding contract ensuring that the immigrant spouse will not become a public charge and that they will be financially responsible for them. In Michael's case, Angela was the key to his future in the United States. Without her continued support and cooperation, his dream of living in America would crumble. This power imbalance gave Angela the upper hand in their relationship, and she wielded this power to her advantage in the most disturbing ways. Angela repeatedly threatened Michael with the possibility of withdrawing her support for his visa, knowing full well that without her signature on the necessary documents, he could face deportation back to Nigeria. For someone like Michael, who had invested years of his life in building a life with Angela and adjusting to the idea of living in the United States, the threat of deportation was terrifying. Angela exploited this fear, using it as leverage to ensure that Michael remained submissive to her demands. It was not simply a case of an unhappy relationship. Angela systematically used the U.S. immigration system as a tool of control and blackmail, trapping Michael in a situation where he felt he had no choice but to comply with her wishes, no matter how miserable he was. While the immigration threat was powerful enough on its own, Angela's blackmail didn't stop there. She also took control of Michael's private life, threatening to leak intimate text messages and confidential conversations if he ever tried to break free from her grip. Angela reportedly gained access to Michael's phone, and with it, she obtained sensitive information that could damage his reputation and personal life. This included private messages with friends, family, and possibly even other women. Sources close to the couple claim that Angela held this information over Michael's head, warning him that if he left her or defied her in any way, she would expose these private communications to the public. In the digital age, such a threat can be catastrophic, especially when dealing with reality TV stars who are constantly under the media's microscope. Angela knew that even the smallest scandal could damage Michael's reputation, both in the United States and in his home country of Nigeria, where family honor and respect are highly valued. This form of blackmail kept Michael in a constant state of fear. He was not only concerned about his immigration status, but also about the personal humiliation and damage that Angela could inflict upon him if she decided to leak his private conversations. The emotional toll of living under such constant threats must have been enormous, as Michael found himself increasingly isolated and trapped in a relationship that had long ceased to bring him any happiness. One of the most insidious aspects of Angela's blackmail was how she exploited the trust that Michael once had in her. In the early days of their relationship, Michael likely shared intimate details and conversations with Angela under the assumption that they were in a loving partnership. Like many couples, they exchanged personal messages, discussed their dreams, and confided in one another. 
However, Angela weaponized this trust, using the information she had gathered over the course of their relationship as tools for manipulation and control. Angela's access to Michael's phone allowed her to gather even more sensitive information, including private messages he had sent to others. By invading his privacy in this way, Angela deepened the power and balance in their relationship. Michael could never fully relax or feel safe, knowing that Angela had the ability to ruin him at any moment. The fear of exposure became yet another chain that bound him to her, making it nearly impossible for him to break free without risking severe consequences. The psychological impact of Angela's blackmail on Michael cannot be understated. Living under the constant threat of deportation and public humiliation must have taken an immense toll on his mental health. As time went on, Michael's once jovial and light-hearted personality appeared to dim, as viewers of 90 Day Fiancé noted the visible strain in his demeanor during later seasons. He seemed more withdrawn, less willing to engage in the playful banter that initially characterized his relationship with Angela. The toxic dynamic between Angela and Michael is a textbook example of emotional abuse, where one partner uses threats, fear, and manipulation to maintain control over the other. The longer Michael stayed in the relationship, the more entrenched this dynamic became, leaving him feeling powerless and isolated. Friends and family who were close to Michael during this time reportedly expressed concern about his well-being, recognizing that Angela's control over him had escalated beyond mere arguments and disagreements. It had become a full-blown pattern of abuse. As more details about Angela's blackmailing of Michael have come to light, the public's perception of her has shifted dramatically. While Angela initially gained notoriety for her brash and outspoken personality, many viewers found her antics entertaining and even endearing in the early seasons of 90 Day Fiancé. However, as her treatment of Michael became more toxic and abusive, the audience's tolerance for her behavior began to wear thin. Over time, fans of the show started calling out Angela's actions, expressing concern about the way she manipulated and mistreated Michael. Social media platforms became flooded with comments from viewers who were appalled by Angela's behavior, with many calling for her removal from the show. The revelations about her blackmailing tactics have only intensified these calls, as more people recognize the extent of Angela's emotional abuse. In addition to public outrage, Angela's behavior has also caught the attention of advocacy groups that focus on domestic abuse and emotional manipulation. Some have pointed out that Angela's treatment of Michael fits the classic pattern of coercive control, a form of emotional abuse where one partner exerts power over the other through threats, intimidation, and manipulation. These groups have used Angela's actions as a case study to raise awareness about the dangers of emotional abuse, particularly in relationships where there is a significant power imbalance. Angela's blackmailing of Michael has had far-reaching consequences, not only for their relationship, but also for her career and public image. While she once enjoyed a degree of celebrity status as a reality TV star, her actions have tarnished her reputation beyond repair. Angela's fall from grace has been swift, with many of her former fans turning against her in light of the revelations about her behavior. The blackmail scandal has also raised questions about Angela's future on 90 Day Fiancé. The show, which thrives on drama and conflict, has faced criticism in the past for allowing toxic relationships to play out on screen without adequately addressing the harm being done. As Angela's actions have come to light, there has been growing pressure on the producers to take a stand against emotional abuse and to hold cast members accountable for their behavior. It remains to be seen whether Angela will continue to be a part of the show, but many believe that her time in the spotlight is coming to an end. Moreover, Angela's blackmailing tactics may have legal implications as well. While blackmail is often difficult to prove in court, Michael could potentially take legal action against Angela for her actions, particularly if there is evidence of her threatening to sabotage his immigration status or leak his private information. If Michael decides to pursue legal recourse, it could mark the beginning of a long and messy legal battle between the former couple. For Michael, the exposure of Angela's blackmail offers a glimmer of hope for freedom. After years of being trapped in a toxic and abusive relationship, he may finally have the opportunity to break free from Angela's control. With the public now aware of the extent of Angela's manipulation, Michael may find the support he needs to move forward with his life, 
without fear of further retaliation. As for his immigration status, it remains uncertain whether Angela's threats to revoke her support will have any lasting impact. If Michael can prove that he was coerced into staying with Angela under duress, it's possible that immigration authorities may take this into account when reviewing his case. Michael could potentially seek alternative avenues to secure his residency in the United States, allowing him to remain in the country without relying on Angela's support. In the meantime, Michael has the chance to rebuild his life, both personally and professionally. Thank you for watching.